And by us, um, proud of our effort. I think we beat a good basketball team, a team that was very confident. They won two games in a row. Um, and we're playing really well. Uh, they got off to a fantastic start in the first half. For whatever reason, we have to figure out how to be better to start games and how to be better in the first half. Um, but our guys showed resiliency. In the second half, we were obviously much better defensively. Uh, we were able to string together some stops. Uh, I thought our ball pressure was a little bit better. Our ball screen coverage was better. Our rotations were better. That allowed us to get out in transition. Uh, we were able to establish John inside in the second half. And he scored and made some great passes. Um, but I just thought that it was a much better effort in the second half for us. Um, you know, it's good to you know finish this week out the right way and to close this chapter now we look ready now we look forward to going on the road um, against increased competition on Monday so these guys Blake what do you think uh, I mean even the last game and then this game of the defense in the first half what, what do you kind of see has not been working and where have you guys improved in the second half of these two games uh, just, I think more energy and um more concentration to talk towards the ball. Me personally, I, I had two mistakes in the first half, and um, it just simply came from less focus and less talk. And then usually in the second half, as a team, as a unit, we pick it up. So just learn how to do that in the first half, and I think we'll be just fine. Nike, you came off the bench 15 points. You had 17 against Alabama State. You know, not to reemphasize it, but you know, you you talked about your recovery process leading up to this. How does it feel, you know, getting these kind of surges that you've had? Um, it feels good. Just uh, excited to have my team helping me and putting me in position to be able to be effective in the game, for sure. You, I mean, you were not only scoring, but you were distributing. You were playing defense. That kind of energy seemed to feed off of you guys. How did you, how did you feel? It's like with your team, as, you know, in those moments. Uh, it feels it felt good, man. Just to uh, put help help my team and put help put battery the battery in guys' backs. Um, help find people and put people in position to be effective too. Um, just all around good. Felt, felt good. Uh, Blake, uh, Ben White was scoring was, was was scoring a lot in the first half. He seemed to find a rhythm, and then you guys seemed to figure out some of the things that they were doing, at least in the paint in the second half. What were some of those things that you guys said, hey, we got to cut this off now? Uh, just the energy and talk. We're good enough to, to, to handle that, and um, we showed that in the second half. So. <clears throat> Blake, I think after the last game, um, he said about that was maybe the second time you guys have had all your guys together, healthy, kind of playing together. After a few games now, do you feel like it's it's coming together with, with your starting group and then like Nike coming off the bench, like maybe your top five, six, seven guys really kind of coming together and playing well, kind of cohesion? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we get better every game as expected. Um, we still haven't got everybody out. My boy Will is still hurt, um, but you know, we're a good team put together. We just got to put it together as far as defensively and, and, and energy-wise. What, what was also the change in turnovers? You guys had seven in the first half and three in the second half. And this, this is for both of you guys. It seemed like you guys found a way to just protect the basketball better. I, could, I, I couldn't tell you that one. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just being smarter with the ball and, uh, and being more uh, – Communicating better with each other, making sure we all on the same page in the second half. Uh, we just got to get better and, and bring that to the first half so we can cut down on turnovers. Blake, we were uh, we couldn't tell from up here what happened on the uh, technical foul. Oh, very immature play by me. Oh, won't happen again. Jamari shot six of ten from the floor. Feels like when he when he starts shooting like that, it energizes you guys. What did you see from him that led to his night? Playing his game, playing, uh, being effective, and, and, and taking opportunities to to uh, be effective and, and step in and make shots. We uh, we definitely feed off that that energy, and, uh, and it, it definitely gets us going for sure. You guys, Blake, you guys played three games in six days. Uh, did you still is that maybe the reason for the lack of energy early in the game? Uh, no, I mean, I would I, I would hope not. You know, it's basketball. This is what we want to do. Um, but I think we're going to figure it out. Whatever it is, I think we're going to figure it out for sure. Do you like playing those many games in a short period of time? Also, I love basketball. Mm -hmm. I love basketball, yes. Nike, you played Northwestern a couple of years ago in the ACC Big Ten. Uh, you get to play them again, um, I think, again in 
uh, Evanston. Um, is there anything you're looking forward to for that game? You know, the next game coming after this one here. Uh, yes, just excited to play against um, play against some some good good talent, um, good group of guys. Um, we excited to go in there and, and, and get the, get this win for sure. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. Jeff, is there any second half secret? Like you guys drink know, some man. water or something? I, I, I wish I could tell you. I, I really do. It's uh, it's frustrating. It is. And so I don't know if we if there's something we need to do, change and warm. I, I really don't know, but we have to search and figure out because, you know, I know that as we move forward, the competition increases starting on Monday. And if you, you know, dig yourself a hole against you know, these next three games that we're going to play, it's going to be very difficult to get out of it. It seemed like they, in the first half, they were running these backdoor cuts that just no one was picking up. And then in the second half, they were picking it up. Yeah, you know, in the first half, I thought a couple of things. Um, you know, in the second half, I should say, we, we changed our ball screen coverage. I thought that helped a little bit. We weren't as spread out. I thought we got spread out, got us in rotations. You know, so we made a couple of adjustments there. And then I think our antenna was up a little bit more because we did get beat on those cuts. Um, you know, in the first half, we just... You know, we, we were going for shot fakes on non-shooters. You know, we, we come down and score. We don't get back. Their best shooter hits a three right in transition because we don't get right back to them. Um, obviously, White was tremendous tonight. He played a terrific game. Uh, he got some cross matches at times with our rotations. I thought for a stretch there, I thought they played hard. They were just all over the offensive glass. Uh, it was it was it, it was frustrating, um, but we were able to come out and make some adjustments in the second half and do a better job on. <clears throat> Once you guys took the lead in the second half, you went on like a, a pretty good run, maybe like eighteen to five for a while. Uh, and, and what I noticed in that stretch, I think John had six points, but he also had like three assists. Do you, are you seeing that part of his game evolve more? Well, you know, we wanted to play through him. Um, you know, once once we were able to establish that inside. And then they started doubling. And then, you know, we guys made some great cuts. John made some really good passes, uh, whether it was for Nike for a layup. I think Nelly got a three. I think maybe Nike got a three out of it. You know, he, he's a guy that draws a lot of attention and that opens up stuff for other guys, and guys are able to capitalize. You seem <coughs> early in the season, you said you have a lot of uh, faith and confidence these guys can shoot. Your top three scores tonight are over 60%. Are you, are you, are you even pleased by? Been yeah, I mean, we, again, in the second half, <laughs> not in the first half. Um, we still yet to put a game together where we've all played like I know we're capable of playing, uh, especially shooting the basketball. Um, you know, we got to get Greg going. He's a really good shooter, and he's not shooting the basketball well right now. Nelly's not shooting the basketball well. He's a really good shooter and a really good player. We got to figure out how to help him, um, just like we help Nike. You know, get out of it, and so Nate Santos is the same way. He's an important guy for us. We gotta, we gotta get him going. <clears throat> there were a, a few sequences where it looked like John either looked lost or just didn't like, get to the right spot, like on a rebound, like he wouldn't close out his guy. But then you would, but then he wouldn't also attack the basket after the shot. And then again in the second half, it looked like that went away. And at first, I was like, is that the fatigue of him getting back to basketball? What do you think goes into those type of moments? I, I think, I think that's a little bit of it. I think just the focus and concentration at all times. Mm -hmm. I think at times John can turn into a personal battle mm -hmm. with a guy. And so I'm not going to help as much because I don't want my guy to score. So I'm going to stay. And so those are all areas where we have to help him continue to get better, which he was in the second half. Mm -hmm. what, what was Ben White doing that was kind of getting him going? Well, he was, number one, he was really playing hard. And he's a talented player. He's an all-league player in that league. Um, and that's a really, really good basketball conference. Uh, you know, so that they got some cross matches. And, and as we ball screened, he rolled all of a sudden. Now, all of a sudden, it's Jamarius on him. It's Nelly on him mm -hmm. because of our rotations. In the second half, we, we made an adjustment at halftime about how we wanted to defend the ball screen so we could hopefully stop getting to those cross matches. Uh, but he's a, he's a good player. And once he got going, he got confident. And he was able to be very efficient in how he played as well. But he had seven offensive rebounds. That's how you can score the ball.
you eager to see how this team puts it together against, like you said, better competition? You got NC State again the next week. Too. Yeah, I mean, we we these next three games will learn a lot about where we are right now at this moment. Um, you know, it's three high major teams, three Power Five teams. Uh, uh, you know, Big Ten, ACC, and then the SEC. Uh, when we play Vanderbilt, all three of them on the road. So it'll be an unbelievable opportunity for us, and we're excited about it. You know, uh, Blake had that the technical foul. It definitely seems like he's got a, a certain energy on the court, a, a personality. Do you do you have to manage that a little bit? I, I mean, it seems like that's one of his strengths is the energy he plays with. But do you need to manage? It? I mean, you want him to be on the court, right, and not get into that kind of situation. Yeah, I just want him to be smart, but I want him to play with unbelievable energy. You know, we feed off of that. We need that. We need his passion. We need all of that. Just in that situation right there, he's got to be smarter. <clears throat> you um, kind of did the bench at the uh, end of the game. What do those guys bring to the team? You know, even if they don't get as many minutes, you know, people like KJ Marshall, people like Aiden Fish, you know, what do they bring to the team, you know, even when they're not playing? Unbelievable teammates, uh, especially those two guys, uh, bring incredible passion, joy to what we do. They help our guys. Uh, you can hear them on the bench. They're all about winning. Um, those have been two of the better walk-ons that I've ever had since I've been in basketball. Jeff, you've um, you've seen <coughs> Nike go through a ton. When he first got here, he wasn't allowed to play, um, and then he, he ended up playing, but then just before last season, he tears his ACL, and then you saw him go through his entire journey to get here, and now he's got two games with double digits coming off the bench. What has that done for you? What have you seen from him? What has that done for you just to see a young man fight through all of that to get to here? Well, I believe in him. I love him. Um, you know, I, I, I thought he was a good player since he got here. I thought he was dealt a bad hand when he first got here of being suspended uh, or not being cleared to play. I shouldn't say being suspended, not being cleared to play. You, we found out, I think, 55 minutes before we played Miami. That's mm -hmm. when they cleared all of those guys. It's tough because you're already in a rhythm. You already have your rotations. You know, he played in that game. We came back, we played Louisville that year. He played, I didn't coach, I had COVID, but he played. And then after that, he got COVID. He was out for 10 days That's mm -hmm. back there in that year when all the wackiness was going on. And so he was just behind the eight ball, kind of like the whole year. He played well at the end of the season when those guys left. Uh, and I, I thought he was really poised to have a big year last year, but he got hurt. Mm -hmm. And so, just to see the resiliency, the everyday, the positive attitude, the coming in and working. You know, he's gotten to know our trainer really well, the strength coach really well. Um, and he's just a really good young man. And he's and he's growing up and becoming a man. And one of the things he's learned, I mean, life isn't fair. Stuff happens. Mm -hmm. It's how you respond to it. And that's a lesson I hope all of these guys learn. You know, these journeys aren't easy. That That's not just a basketball journey, just life. I mean, you go through different things. But one of the great things about being a part of a team is that you can learn so many life lessons that you can apply to everything. And I think, you know, the things that he's gone through have really, really helped him in his growth as a man. You feel like that's an asset to, to some of the younger guys that you're developing is that you have so many veterans that, you know, not everyone has the same story as Nike, but everyone's got a story. Everyone has a story and everyone's been through something. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think if we, if the world had more grace you know, with that, then it'd be a better, uh, certainly our country would be better with all the craziness that's going on right now. Um, and so I, I, I do think those guys, the older guys can be, an ex they, they've all been through stuff, they, whether it's injury, whether it's family stuff, whether it's personal stuff, whatever it is, they've been through it. These younger guys have too, but you have someone that you can look to as a, as a, as a pillar of strength. Um, that's what we want to do as, as the adults, as the coaches in our program, the people that work here at the university and athletic department. We want to be that. But then yet when you have older guys, they can be that as well. Good night.